Ladies and gentlemen, we have waited a long time for this game to release, and it's finally here. I'm not looking forward to this, so let's just go ahead and jump in. What's up guys and gals, and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and the beast in... Okay, and the beast inside is the game. And in today's episode, we're going to try to play this in one shot. I highly doubt we're going to get it. I hope that it doesn't have to be broke up into, you know, multiple videos, but we're going to do our best. This might be a long playthrough. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Now, if you follow my channel, you will know that this game in particular gave me two of the biggest jump scares I've ever had. One of the jump scares, I actually got so startled that my jaw locked up. And it freaked me out, and I had to I had to hit my face to try to unlock my jaw. Let's go back. Ah! Shit! <laughs> Fuck this game. I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. So we are in for a real treat today. I'm gonna shut my mouth. Let's go to new game. Oh great. Oh okay. difficulties. Okay. I'm sorry, eat my ass, we're going with adventure, okay? We may do something with a higher difficulty in the live stream. Chapter 1, The Beginning. If you're new and this is the first time you've watched this channel, you'll know I get startled really easily. My alligator brain kicks in full gear. And I usually shit my pants. Okay, let's go. Where? Where am I? God, why? Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just... No sound on that. Regular family, you hear me? We just wanted to live our life, and you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you're killed. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am sitting. <laughs> Ow. One week earlier. President Carter is commenting on the Russian threats. I, th I thought it was going to read that, but it didn't. Okay. I think it appears that we have a bug, maybe, in sound. <laughs> it's always something, huh? Definitely a sound bug. Oh, wait, never mind. <sighs> the further we go, the more doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. Whew. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents and you should appreciate it. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, it looks even better than the photos. No, it doesn't. Oh, our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away while you give orders from the shower. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, she's smoking hot. She makes me quiver. Three hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. 
Those boxes won't carry themselves in. <laughs> Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Why don't you help? I mean... <laughs> Place seems peaceful and quiet. Okay, so we've already... It's been a long time since I played this, so I don't know. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> nice models. Okay, so here's the dialogue. It says, uh, Emma, honey, don't just stand there. These boxes won't carry themselves in, so I can't Gotta get, get in the car. Inside. Yeah, no shit. Okay. I should put the box on the table upstairs. Okay, on the table upstairs. Away we go. The box is where it should be. Okay, there's one box. Walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. The game looks a whole hell of a lot better. They've really polished the shit out of this game. Okay, I think you can just set these boxes down anywhere. So, let's see. What does that say? Kitchen. Going in the kitchen. I think. <laughs> Where the hell is the kitchen? Okay, there's no kitchen. I'm just going to throw this box in here. Let's go ahead and pick up the other boxes and just throw them in the same room and see what happens. <laughs> More kitchen cutlery. Got to be careful with this box. What the hell is this? A thinking woman's guide to pregnancy. <laughs> thinking woman. That'd be all the boxes. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Okay, let's go to the attic. Oh, shit. Damn, I can't reach it. I need something to pull down the stairs. No shit. Okay, let's see if we can find... I can't remember where it is. I they might have... in the attic without a pole hook. No shit. I'm looking for it. Okay, we're looking for a pole hook so that we can get into that attic. There's probably some buried treasure up there. Okay, we got a note here. Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Okay, thanks, Mom. Got another letter. We are upstairs. I paid those bastards in advance, so of course they didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. You can't trust anyone these days. Moving service. Oh, oh. Door opened. Okay. Let's look around. What the fuck is this? Is that an angel baby? What is he doing? Is he banging a seashell? What the fuck is going on here? Oh, get the hell out of here. Oh, look at this handsome man. I wonder who that could be. Oh. Sir William the Third. He was a pimp. <laughs> the first pimp of his generation. Where is... Ah. Oh, it was right there the whole time. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's see if we can open it now. There we go. Let's pull it down. Oh, I like this. This is too cool. Pull that down. That is a nice attic ladder, bro. This game ain't that scary. You've got to be kidding me. It's a fucking Fuck. lock. Mom, the baby hears everything. Even in the womb. So it will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. Dining room. Okay. Going to check it's now, ma'am. One drawer. Silverware. In one of the drawers. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Ah, <sighs> typical. Well. Women, I swear to God. I'm gonna punch her in the face. There we go. Now the trunk's popped. Let's see, what do we got in here? There it is right there. Take that. Alright, we got it. Going up to the attic. Unlocked. Get me up here. Oh, it's a nice attic. It's a double attic. Got up here. Yes, I will take the crowbar. Probably gonna need that later. You know, I don't, I don't really remember this part of the game. I don't know if they've changed it or what. Oh yeah, now I remember this. So we take the crowbar. What the fuck is this goofy shit? I hate knickknacks. Oh, well, there it is. The paint. Damn it. Stupid. Hmm, what's that? Bastard. A loose plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. Come on, man. You can do it. Good God, man. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, God. Treasure? Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. <laughs> so what if it is? Okay, let's grab this box. I think I remember how to do this. An excerpt from Julius Caesar. 
commentaries on the Gallic War. I remember from my Latin classes, some letters look different than others. Rotate to find a hidden message. Okay. <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker. Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? Okay, so it looks like they've, I think they've slightly changed this. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. So if J equals C, M equals F. Yeah, and then here on the scripture, we've got M, H, P. And I remember last time I forgot a letter. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. First letter being, let's see, I think G. Yeah, okay, so there's only five. One, two, three, four, five. First one is M. I have to break the cipher to open the box. Okay, M H P. Okay, so first we have to line them up. So J equals C. So let's find C and M equals F. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so F being the first one. Okay, that's already done for us. Okay, let's go to H A. Okay, F A. We'll go to P, which equals I. I think I know what it is. I think it's faith. Yep, I knew it. I remembered at the last second. Got another key, an antique key. But what could you unlock with it? Destiny! Well, that's a nice looking key. Okay, let's keep that. Item added to inventory. Let's see what this is. Property of Nicholas. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost. Chapter 2. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. Press any key to continue. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. Okay, I'm so... I'm home again after ten years' absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. Okay. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. And what happened to me. Okay. Can I talk now? Awesome. All right, so we have traveled back in time. A long ways away. And what's crazy is the road is made of dirt. I don't know if it was dirt leading in here. And I don't... I don't remember... That barn? Yeah, this this is creepy. Let me make sure my headset's up for this one. Ah, I threw this earlier. Oh my god, that scared me. You have no matches. Okay, let's grab some matches. Aha! There we go. Got some matches. Let's light this candle. Let's press X to light a match. There we go. Please don't burn me. I think I used all the matches. Okay, we got some more. It's gonna burn my finger. There we go. See if we can light all the candles in here. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's pull this off to the side. God, this old antique furniture, bro. It's heavy. Oh. Whew, I think it just blew a nut. What we got here? I don't know what the hell that was. We got a lantern. Yes, take that for sure. F to light kerosene lamp. That's right, okay, and uh I do believe we have to uh, we have to find kerosene as well. So I'm gonna put that up. Let's go ahead and light that one. Grab some more kerosene. I'm gonna try my damnedest not to use all of my kerosene this time. I do remember that last time I ran out of kerosene. What's really weird is I don't I don't remember this. I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine living in a house like this, man. 
and only having candlelight. I don't know how they survived back in the day, bro. It's crazy. I think we've got every single candle lit. No, nope, we got one more. There we go. Let's see, what do we got here? Old ass photo. God, that's an old photo. My father and his partner, a few days after opening their pyrite mine. Pyrite? Or pyrite? How do you pronounce it? Okay, clock's ticking now. Maybe it was <laughs> maybe it was ticking before, I just wasn't paying attention. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not a good place to <laughs> Upstairs. What could it be? Why are you so calm about it, man? Damn wind. I, I thought the window was bolted shut. <sighs> well bolted shut. Bird. Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Who the devil is he? Uh, sir? Private property? He's just walking away. I don't think he walked away last time. Where the hell did he go? Check the area around the house. Hey! God damn it. You still here? I better take a look. Why? What? He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. What the hell do you mean? I remember the shed being like literally right next to the house, like right here. Huh? I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> there was a strange man out there on my property. Let's let's go outside. Check it out. I'm ch I'm checking the shed. All right, calm the fuck down. You gotta move all this stuff. Ugh. Get the hell out of the way. Oh man, why is everything so heavy? Strange. The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked. Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Yeah, that that'd be nice. Okay, so we need to find uh like bolt cutters. I didn't know they had bolt cutters back in those days. <laughs> I guess they do. All right, cut the shit. The rusty. Oh, good God. Oh no. That's my father's hat. Yeah, I don't remember this. The basement? Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. Oh my god, dude. Are you stupid? There's blood on that hat. Blood! Okay? What the hell is this? What the fuck? Did, was somebody just standing there or I'm an ima I think I'm imagining shit. I can't even speak right now. Old newspaper clipping. Rotate to find hidden message. What the hell is that? A terrible crime has shocked a peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called into the inn. Dog, I'm hearing noises. The deputy sheriff called to the inn, confirmed the man's death. John Norton had been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed, and many other cuts and bruises all over his body suggest prolonged torture. A gruesome murder? Here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. Where'd the fucking, where'd the hat go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> better go home. Yeah. You, you should go inside and lock the doors. Did you leave the fucking door open? Okay, I remember this. Now this I remember. I think he just disappears. What? You let yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Yellow butter! Ah! Huh? Am I going mad? What in heaven's name is going on? If I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. Ooh. Light the candles, maybe? Light the candles. I fucking hate those pictures, man. Why is that moving? Yeah, okay, so I'm remembering bits and pieces. Not everything, obviously. <laughs> eh, I'll stay in here. <laughs> what is this, a check? For how much? $320. God damn, that's like $3 billion back in those days. We were loaded. 1839. You know, I'm actually curious to know how much $320 was back in those days. Like the equivalent. Somebody check it out and leave it down in the comment section. Okay, 
I'll take that. Let's go in the kitchen where somebody opened the door for us. Light the candle. Yeah, I like these statues. They're fucking nice. Get that shit out of here. Through my mouse. Thank God it's on a bungee. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Um, what, what the hell is that? Yes. Can I? Can I please keep this? Please. Stupid. <sighs> Must be one of those automatic drawers. That when <laughs> you trip a uh, a trip wire, it all springs out for you. You know, it's all technology. Okay. Let's uh. Come on, man, come on. Yeah, that's a cool picture. <laughs> I'm not wasting my lantern. Where did all this blood come from? What blood? Dear God. What blood? Oh. That blood. Let's put this up. I'm working up a shit. I see my oil right there. Oh, no, not this. I remember this, okay? I think this is that part. This is definitely that part. I remember somebody beating on the door. Cut it. There we go. Here you go, sir. We'll see if this is a good idea. It's okay, I remember this part. Somebody's gonna jump out at me. Huh. Huh. Okay, they didn't jump out at me. Fuck you, horse. They did. Nobody jumped out at me. Can I please take this lantern? Is anybody there? <laughs> okay, this is different. This is definitely different. Now we need to look for oil everywhere. Everywhere we can find oil, we need to pick it up. We can't waste time down here. Oh God. Yeah, I remember this. Please don't scare me. Okay, so they've changed it. That's that's fantastic. They've changed it. Let's see. Another way in. This might be that basement. What am I doing wrong? Ah, there we go. What the hell's that? Okay, I'm definitely taking these. I don't I don't remember this. If this is a staircase, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. Briefcase? Where's your briefcase? I don't I don't remember this. Okay, so we need a lockpick? Suitcase. Now this this right here was the biggest jump scare I've ever had. Let's see if it does it again. It, it definitely is. <laughs> oh god. Delusional? You're pretty delusional, bro. Briefcase, briefcase, where is it? I remember finding something. It took me forever to figure it out. If I could just remember, where the hell? There's like a little kit that you have to take apart. And it looks, it appears as though they've moved it. We might have to go back upstairs. I don't, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Cut them fucking things. Roots. There's blood coming out of these roots, bro. This isn't good. Come on. Speed is key. Thank God for those shears, right? Huh? He's upstairs. What does he want from me? <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Let's just move. Burning lamp oil here. Has someone gone through my briefcase? Okay, got the key. I got here. Fucking shit. Shit out of here. What? Huh? Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop it. Who the hell are you? Yeah, I don't remember this. Stay back. You hear me? Keep away! Oh. Okay, you might want to get away from him. It's probably my father. Okay, chapter three, my parents old... I think he's going to read this anyway, but I like reading it for shits and gigs. My parents old house, where Emma and I decided to move, hides more secrets than I could imagine. 
Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passage describes real life events or if they are just mad ravings made up by this Nicholas person. All right, cool. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Okay, are we back Strange. in modern times? I was in the attic and I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. All right, uh, so you came down the ladder unknowingly. Whatever. Okay, just, whatever. I'm glad that I'm back home in modern times. Look, there's a car outside, bro. Yeah, that is a dirt road. And yeah, buddy, the barn's gone. I knew something was weird. What about the shed? No, nope, shed's still out there. Okay, Emma. Honey, oh. you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma, can you hear me? Look at Emma. That ass. <gasps> Emma. I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this. The power is out, by the way. Diary, w what? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Ooh, we get touchy with me, girl. You're hot when you're angry. Hey, look. Oh my God. Hey. Hey, Emma. You wanna, you know, real quick? Just come on. There's nobody here. Damn it! She always shuns me off. What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe okay. I find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Okay, let's go to the attic, grab a flashlight. Hopefully, unless we get sent back to the 1800s. Oh man, it's not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. The hell is this shit? Whatever, man. I think the spirits are getting to her. That's why she's so angry. Uh, what? I was gonna say you should have tested it beforehand. All right, bunch of old stuff. A baseball bat. You might want to grab that. Thing. God. You're so stupid. Where are the fuses? Fuses. All right, let's look for some fuses. Got us a crowbar. We can't use pipe wrench. Why are these damn doors locked? Wait a minute. Okay, so that's been that's been bricked in. There we go. Strange. One's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Could be, bro. Let's take this key. Ooh, the shed key. A spare fuse in the shed by the house. I'll take it. All right, let's go out to the shed. Why am I walking slow? There we go. Wow, man, look at this. This is nice. This game looks very good. Went out to the shed. How huh? Is that blood? Can't get in that way. I'm gonna look at your boobs through the window. Uncross your arms. <laughs> look at the look at the look on her face. That is a resting bitch face. Or a frozen one, I don't know. It won't let me move anything to get in there. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, there's an open gate on the side. Let's open this up. And bloody footprints. Looks like somebody's on their period. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. Do you not notice the blood, sir? What the f... What is this? What did all... Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum Localizer. It is an electromagnetic sensor. Allows in-depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved, so-called quantum traces. Enables the user to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past presence in a forgiven fragment. Yeah, okay, so it's, uh, it's a ghost machine. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that shit. A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? That's a good question. Another question would be, whose fucking blood is it? Okay, so we didn't find any fuses. Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. I don't think that was Emma? in. Emma? Honey? Oh! 
There we go. Took me a second to figure that out. Yeah, use your fucking localizer. It's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Press X to equip, unequip the device. Localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Quantum clouds. This icon informs you that the cloud is near. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Okay. This game just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> Got weird as fuck. This thing is crazy. Okay, so the quantum particles are down in the bottom. 80%. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud. And I need to scan it. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. Ooh. Looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. That is creepy, dude. I don't like this. Dude, it was kneeling down right there. He's out on my land somewhere. Touching himself. I don't like that. Okay, I'm not picking up nothing. Oh, there's a bridge. Man, none of this was in the uh, the demo. Like, none of it. Yeah, can't get across that. Not gonna try. Let's get back in the house. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood. And a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. Man, I really wish I had this machine in real life. That way I could catch Normie doing anything. Oh, oh, oh. Picked up on something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Picking up on something. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. It's right there. Okay. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable, and the readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you should have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by clicking right mouse button. To destroy an anomaly, hit EMP. Charge fire from your... Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> I'm shooting a phaser gun. That should do it. I'm oh. stabilize the cloud. After destroy all anomalies, return to the quantum cloud. Oh, this is so weird. This is... Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Dude, you better go in there and get your wife. Like, are you stupid? Right, we got a rope. He's probably done been in there and slammed your wife a couple times. All right? And that's not good. That's not good at all. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Okay. Let's pay attention to the percentage on the bottom. Okay. Is there another path or something? Alright, let's walk it out. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's a bloody ladder? It must have went up from here. There we go. Excellent. Okay, let's pull out our device. This is strange, man. So no, much blood, it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Ooh. That's my girlfriend's blood, I guarantee it. I clearly drag something heavy through that gate. Find another way. Okay. Can we just get back to the fuse box, man? Planks are loose. I'll try to break them up. Yes, sir. Let's do it. There we go. There's one. Come on, Macho. Where? Brandy Savage! Okay. Yeah, we're, we're really stupid for doing this. Okay, let's follow the path. Wherever the hell it leads. I'm not picking up on any signals. 
The blood Holy hasn't dried yet. Shit. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. A barn. Oh, more blood. Cool. <laughs> Let's follow it. Idiot. Cut it. You got bolt cutters, man. Come on, cut it. Dude, Damn it! You're making noise. Just closed. Guarantee it's gonna be somebody hunting. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that? <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. God damn it! It scared me too. I better check what the localizers detected before I go. <sighs> stabilize anomalies. All right, so we got to stabilize the anomalies. There's got to be a way in this. That's tied up. So we're gonna have to walk all the way around. See if we can find these anomalies. Can we get up here? Come on, man. Climb, you sissy. And we'll get a box. It's not on the box. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Get up here. Yeah! Alright, we're in. Because, oh, shit. That scared me. There we go. Scanning. Anomaly detected. Where the hell are you? There it is. Boom! Got it. <clears throat> gotcha! Okay, all anomalies. Who is he? Done. Did he hide here? What is he? Fucking a piece of hay? What the hell is going on? Oh, a murder knife. weapon. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. Dude, take you're... It just in case. This guy is insane. He is insane. Barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. There's no way I'd be doing this, man. I'd have done hunkered down in my house, locked all the doors and just waited. Maybe called the popo or something. There we go. Yeah, I'm cut through that shit. Cut the shit. Yeah, there we go. Cut through here, maybe. God, I love that. That's so satisfying. There we go. Open that gate. Let's get in here. We're going to run into this dude, man. He's not going to be happy. There we go. Tuck that bitch down. There we go. Okay. We are in. Man, that's a, that's a stag, bro. Dude's just hunting. Top down. Yeah, it's just a stag, God, man. Have done this. This wasn't just some poacher. More like a fucking sadistic hunter. Why is it beeping? Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. There's a there's a fucking bomb in there. Boom! There we go. Pull it. Ugh. Okay, we gotta drag something over there. Riddle me this! Riddle me that! What the fuck can I stand on to get on that ladder? Okay, well, let's cut our... Cut ourselves out of here! Aha! <laughs> There's a box in here. Yeah, that'll definitely work. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. No shit. Looks like there's footprints on it. Maybe he climbed out that window? Gotcha. There we go. Alright, we are up here. Let's go ahead and saw this rope. Ah. Okay. Uh, excellent. Let's jump down. What is inside this motherfucking deer? Watch it be alive. There you go. Stick your hand in there. Go ahead. Punch your way through. Yeah, there you go. Make a fist. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Oh. oh. Come on, man. Get it out. Is that a tracker? And a fuse. 
What? What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Yeah, no shit. The basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Yeah, <laughs> now, now you're starting to get hip to the fact, bro. That's what I was trying to tell you, man. Okay, well, let's, let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm watching my back. And you left, you le most importantly, you left your wife at the house by herself. You stupid motherfucker. Okay, so by the time we get back home, that dude's... He probably slayed her several I times. Back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. That was corny, bro. Shut your mouth. Okay, door is still wide open. It's a good indicator. She is gone. I'm closing this fucking door. Let's go to the basement. <sighs> Stupid ass thing. Put this fuse in. There we go. The power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. <laughs> well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? So she's pregnant. Okay. Bro, she's probably already dead. Okay? I don't know why you're being so calm about this whole situation. Boo! Jesus, woman. <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. I don't know. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually... Where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where I'll do we paint start? Your ass. <laughs> Put that paint all over you. <laughs> Damn, she's hot. Box full of casm cans. <laughs> okay. Uh, darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. You're fucking pregnant. Still in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Yeah, but you shouldn't be huffing paint. Oh God. Oh. Hello. Give me that roller. <laughs> God damn it. Paint the wall. You know, there was a sadistic killer that took a fuse from our house and stuffed it in a deer. Okay? He hung the deer way up. And uh, I used my futuristic plasma control rifle finder. <laughs> it sees people in the past. And uh, we're probably in deep shit. We have a sadistic killer that that knows we're here. Okay? Just, just throwing that out there, you know? <laughs> you know, it's important. Might want to keep the doors locked. Uh, I don't know why we're even painting this shit. This house was built in the 1800s, okay? So, painting the walls isn't gonna make it look any better. Give me the fucking roller. Give me that ro Oops! Whoops! <laughs> if I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Oh, Have I love called this. you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. <sighs> Gives me the creeps. Have you thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you, what are you doing? staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. I, I was enjoying painting the wall. 
but whatever. Man, I did a good job on that wall, didn't I? Look at that shit. Okay, I'll help you. Ready? Let's go. Looky who it is. I'll be damned. Oh, God. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, he'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. Hang my nutsack. A few days later. I'm pretty sure you could have read that yourself, but whatever. That's an old phone. Ooh, look at that sexy beast on the wall. Damn. I would leave him up there forever. Wait a minute. This is this the same house? Okay, now I'm a little confused. Shit, it's probably from the office. Oh man, look at that dude. That is one sexy dude. Okay, apparently we got we got everything moved in. It's looking nice. Where's the phone at? Oh, look at this. Hell yeah, this ain't no haunted house. It has been modernized. What the fuck is this hippie shit? Is this somebody's birthday? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. We did a good job on this place. Oh, there it is. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. You're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. And there goes my vacation. Ooh. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. Okay. So we gotta get the cipher machine. Okay, well, let's go get the machine. I'm curious as to what that's all about. That's somebody's birthday, I know it. Oh, okay, there's another office. Wow, okay. That's a nice office. Where's that cipher machine? Hey, oh, hey, Blinken. Ain't no telling how long that's been sitting there. So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Open the covers by holding the handle on the right side. For starters, I need to open the top cover. Okay, open. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. Oh, okay, so it's... <laughs> it's numbered right here. Two, four, five... Eight. Two, four, five, eight. Okay, the first part's done. There we go. Now it's time to set the cogs. Time to set the cogs? Okay, so we gotta put it in start position. Set the numbers in the windows to the following positions. From left to right. Two, fourteen, six, twenty-two. Two, fourteen, six, twenty-two. It's a cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. 
Open the bottom drawer of the device. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration. A, F, G, Z, R, T. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. Okay, A, F, G, Z, R, and T. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. Run a test using the test password. Buflup. After entering these letters, you should see an uncoded message. Reading Friday. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Okay, that was B, P, uh, flup, flup. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Hell yeah, let's decode this shit. Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. Okay, here we go. Still nothing. Fuck. Oh, what's this? This terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Yeah, and there's the murder weapon. God, how long has this been here? Is this... blood? Or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost... Chapter 4. It hurts, so I'm alive. Damn it, I almost broke my neck. He took me by surprise. I wasn't prepared at all for something like this. Didn't really look human up close. When he rushed at me, I felt all of his pain suddenly seep into me. I never experienced anything like that. His gaze, like an abused animal's, that desperation in his eyes. I was so dumbstruck, I couldn't move. I wanted to scream, but it felt as if someone had ripped my vocal cords out. Who the hell is he? What was he doing in my father's bedroom? Let's continue. Oh no, not this. Going back in time. We're reliving the experience. God damn it. Back in this shithole. Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? What if they're. In the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the 1800s. So we still have to get through that door. And uh, I'm assuming we have to find that lockpick. Keeping an eye out for lantern juice. Okay, I'm going to keep adding this to our inventory. Alright, so we're going to go back. We're going to check and see if this door is still locked. God damn it, I hate that. There's a handprint. Okay, that's still locked. Need a lock pick. Let's see if we can find that lock pick. I, I got a weird feeling that it's upstairs. It was supposed to be in that briefcase. Okay, let's run upstairs. See what we can see. Ugh. You are not alone. Why not? Why can't I be alone, man? It's my fucking house, ain't it? <laughs> my head. You can't come in here! Hear me, you snot! You're not allowed here! Sorry. Father? Oh, what's wrong with me? Objective. I said it wouldn't happen again! Okay, I'm not reading that. Dear God. Says, get out of the room. Looks like a hurricane went through here. Oh, I will take that. Okay, so we have got to find our way. We got to find our way out of this room. That oh, oh, well, shit, the door's open. Okay, more matches. Oh, great, great. Don't go down there. Oh, come on, man. Don't go down there. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? What is this shit? You stupid. 
Bitte! Something's gonna happen, I know it. I'm not dumb. <laughs> Oh, yep, I see him. <laughs> Sir, I, I see you back there. Sir, he's gonna jump out at me. Sir, are you stuck? Sir, please don't fucking do this to me. God damn it, man. I hate these stupid games. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're just now freaking out. Dude's in the fucking floor for God damn it. I feel like this house is trying to kill me. Yeah. Looks like we're in the office. At least we're out of the roof. Or the ceiling, whatever. I can't remember how upset my father was after that accident. And when he found out what happened to George... He was really terrified. Okay, I, I gotta read this. An explosion in the Carolyn Mine, Backstone, New Hampshire, cost the lives of three miners. Witnesses claim tremors were felt up to half a mile from the mine, and the bang could be heard from inside homes even with the windows closed. The cause of the explosion, and whether or not it could have been avoided, is yet to be determined. A reporter has not been able to contact either of the mine's co-owners. George Whitehead was unavailable, while Jacob Hyde refused to comment on the accident. We will provide our readers with further detail as the story unfolds. Okay, so this is where I was sitting when I got blasted back into the 1800s. There's no drawer in that. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Take some of that. I'm not wasting, uh, not wasting it though. <gasps> yes. Just in case. Fucking yes. I'd rather not kill anyone. You stupid. Without ammo, it won't be much help. Okay, let's grab it. Here's our lock picks. Time to go to the basement. Yeah. And see what's behind that door. Oh, great. Here we go with this shit. Here we go. That's easy. There we go. I like that. That's actually a good mechanism. The fuck do we get out of here? What's this? It's a man on a horse. Wow. Now that is a dope picture. I want to take that home. Let's look at this picture, man. I would so hang that up on my wall. I can't remember what those are called, man. It's not a statue. It's something else. What was that? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's press on. Move this stupid fucking chair. Get out of the way. It's opened up. The chair's still in my way. Let's go around. There we go. Okay, back to the basement. I got a weird feeling. I knew it! I knew it! No, it can't be happening. It can't be true. Why did they say I'm safe now if it's coming back? Like that. I knew it, man. I knew that was gonna happen. Refilling the lamp. Yeah, I know how to refill the lamp. There's one. There's two. Three. Here we go. Man, that, that's that's challenging. Okay, made it in. Take that, take some matches. Is anybody behind here? I should be able to get into another room from here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Grab this and fucking break it. Come on, you pansy. Break it, you fucking son of a bitch. Ah, I'm getting splinters. Ah. Come on. Get. Ah. Oh. Oh, what? I got a bad feeling about this, man. Not digging this at all.
Come on. What the fuck is wrong with his spine? His spine is showing. I just saw, but there was a dude Shit, with his spine exposed. Messing. There must be another way. You kidding me? We gotta climb all the way back through this shit. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for the help. Appreciate that. Okay. So we're being this fucked with. Is real. The blood. The metal rod. These are no phantoms. I haven't lost my mind. Not this time. What do you mean not this time? Knowledge. How in the world did he get away? If there's a cog here, there must also be a mechanism somewhere that it once belonged to. What mechanism, man? It looks like one of those abominations that the judges wear on their heads. There was a judge that used to come to our house. What was his name? Norton. Norton. Wait a minute. It is him. It was his death that was covered up in that newspaper. How was that possible? And the other man? The one in the hat. He locked up the judge. So maybe he did the same to my father. I'll retrace their steps. Maybe I can find out something about my father's disappearance. And about all the other missing people. A crank. Maybe I could use it to open the door. Okay. Story is unfolding. How in the world did they get out if... Crank that bitch. It's like a big ass, like, old time safe door. There we go. That thing's no joke. The judge is bleeding heavily. He wow. Look for help. I don't even need my light. That blood is just glowing. Okay. A lot of blood. Blood trail. I can use it to track him down. Okay, yep. I didn't mean to do that. Just open the door. Let's not waste our kerosene. Okay, we are hot on somebody's trail. Man, he's got some bright blood. <laughs> going. Maybe the bridge isn't broke. It is not. It's wearing down, but it's not broke. There. He'll go to the inn. I thought it would have closed many years ago. Alright, let's make our way up to the end. Maybe I could use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab it. Take that shit. Yes, sir. Load that shit up. Reload it. He must have known. Stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't make me do this. Why but did you waste he one? Did nothing. He let him do it all. Fuck yeah. What? He's vanished into thin air. Oh, oh. Ah. oh my god. Bullets only keep him away for a while. Yes, thank you. Let's keep going. It's a good thing I'm one of the best first person shooters in the world. He has no chance with me. Here walking. Good night, sir. <laughs> this is useless. When will he finally leave me alone? Reload, reload, reload. Here we go. 
We've got a lot of shots. A lot of shots. Oh my god! We're just gonna keep moving. We got 12 shots. Oh shit. No, oh, yeah, baby. Headshot. He's back again. How do I get rid of him? Just calm down, man. Calm calm the fuck down, bro. You're okay. You're gonna be alright. Follow this blood. We'll make it to this end. We'll just keep shooting him in his damn face. Blow his goddamn head off. I don't know if I have to get a headshot every time, but it's fun. Making this too easy, sir. Wow, this gun's what accurate. What do you want? What your bullshit? Makes it a little difficult. <laughs> Fucking shit, that was close. Holy Leave hell. Me alone. I think we made it. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I just wasted two bullets. Can't go that way. Oh no, I missed! Oh my god! Whew. Okay, that wasn't good. For God's sake, die! Did not feel good. God damn it. Okay, let's keep moving. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Oh man, can we just make it? There's an inn not far from here. No shit. Oh wait, what was that? Okay, we got more ammo. We've got a lot of ammo. Holy crap. I'm trying. I'm trying to kill Norton. Oh! 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 Fucking hell! Reload, 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 reload! What the fuck is going on? Okay. Who the fuck is this Norton fucker? This is like a fucking boss fight! The fuck just happened? What the fuck? This went from a this went from a horror game to a fucking boss fight. What, is, what the fuck is going on? I'm so fucking confused. Oh shit! Dirty bitch! He didn't reload. I gotta stop the reload. Shit, 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 shit. I hear him to my right. Oh my god. God damn. Good fucking Satan boss fight! Come on, reload, reload. Yeah, 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 yeah. See ya. Oh! Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey. That's fucking crazy. More should do it. Gotcha, bitch. Reload, 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 reload. 
the fuck just happened? Whew. I'm just running. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I'm out of bullets. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, we got six shots, six shots. Where you at? Where you at? Get Norton. Oh. My god, what the fuck is this, man? I was not expecting this out of this game. Fucking full on boss fight. Oh my god! Oh god! I'm dead. I'm a fucking dead man. Reload, 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 come on, come on, reload. Oh! I, I don't know <laughs> what the fuck this game turned into, but yeah, okay. What in the fuck was that? I had a demon dude burping at me. Let's open this up. Whoa, shit! Didn't mean to do that. I heard them. No, it's happening again. It can't be. You're going insane, bro. <laughs> like father, like son. It is you that should have died then. Is that my dad? I think that's my dad. He's dead, bro. Help me, dad. <laughs> I'm so confused. Chapter 5. Restoring the old shack isn't the hardest challenge I must face here. Some seriously weird stuff is going on around here. Most recently, someone stole one of the fuses and stuffed it inside the deer carcass. To make matters worse, my boss called and pressured me about the undeciphered Soviet telegrams. I've got so many things on my mind. It feels like I'm going crazy. I keep thinking it's all somehow related to Nicholas Morris, but I can't make the exact connection yet. Okay, here we go. What? How in the hell? Keys in a diary from over a century ago. Fucking hell, but it's impossible. I don't know how, but it worked. Maybe if I find the other pages from the diary, if those telegrams are ever going to be decoded, I have to take every chance. I'll notify David. This will blow his mind. I've made more progress than his entire team has in months. Okay. Chapter 5. They are watching. Okay, let me get back to my beautiful wife and my child. Okay, so we got to get to the phone and call my man David. See what David has to say about this while I hit my bait. Fuck, they must have tapped my line. How in the world did they track me down so quickly in this shithole? Fuck me. Maybe they did get Harold after all. Thankfully, I can check where they're tracking me from. If I'm not wrong, the detector should be in the office. Okay, let's go get the detector. My favorite piece of equipment. There we go. We gotta find some quantum clouds now. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus, are you trying to kill me again? I don't want to sound hysterical, but I saw someone. <gasps> what are you talking about? Someone's here. 
in front of the house. But maybe it's someone from the office? You know, about work? David would tell me. Son of a bitch, it's all so clear now. Y you don't think that? I do. They want to get us, so nothing would surprise me. A, a few days ago, someone was hanging around here, too. I, I caught a glimpse of him behind the trees. And you didn't think it was worth mentioning? <laughs> it might as well have been my imagination. I didn't want to spread panic. We've got enough to worry about as it is. Fuck Emma! I don't work in a bakery. I work for fucking spies. It's not like we can just go to a mountain cabin and be safe. Stay in the house, lock the doors and windows. It's I'll her. Take care of this. It's her, bro. I could use the localizer and see if I can find something nearby. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Bring in some bass. Alright, let's uh let's check the localizer. There we go. There we go. Picked up on something. Getting disturbance. There it is right there. Scan it. There we go. Okay, we got some anomalies. There's one. There we go. Got another one. Fucking ghost, bro. I know it. That fucking bastard is so confident that he approached the house to spy on us. Maybe if I can find more traces. Yeah, I'm gonna catch you, boy. Chilling in my yard like that, that ain't cool. I'm gonna find you and then I'm gonna gut you like that damn deer. Okay, picked up on something. The signal is very clear. Quantum cloud should be right around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to read this thing, alright? Oh, right there. We crossed here to the other side. I need to get over there. What do we have here? You can't hide. I'll be damned. Okay, so we gotta get to the tree house. Shake this bitch open. There we go. There's an actual tree house here. Picked up on something. Break the sport. God damn, this dude's strong. Okay. Jump up here. We got this thing. There we go. Pull the rope. Come on. Go. Man, this is this is a weird location, bro. Okay, made it up in the treehouse. Ooh, yeah, right there. Scanning. The fuckers got it all well organized. Oh yeah. He's been taking pictures. Fuck, I can't believe it. He took a picture on the day of our arrival. He knew even then when and where we were moving. Okay. What the fuck is this? You won't <gasps> lose me so easily, you bastard. Stop! Wow. Hear me? Okay. We're right on his ass. Ah. Get down. Let's chase this son of a bitch. And there he is. Come on. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. And there he is. Son of a bitch. God damn, he's fast. Dog, you might as well give up now. You're not catching this dude. Damn. You're not losing me so easily. He acts like he's not even out of breath. What the fuck is this? Yeah, he lost you, bro. Get this chain. Oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We have a glitch, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's try that again. Can't let him get away, bro. I don't know if I'd be following him down this cave, though. This is a bit much. Probably would have went back to the house, grabbed my girlfriend, and just left. 
chasing a spy through a cave. Fuck, what would have been a joke a week ago is now reality. Wait a minute. It's him. I can't get there. <laughs> I can't get there. Come on, man. It's like we're gonna have to. Ah! Fuck. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna drown, dog. Yep, you're gonna drown. Oh my god. Quick math. How the? How did he get around so fast? It's all good. We'll catch back up to him. That's that scared me. Come on, please don't die. Please don't fucking die. It's like some. This is like some forest shit. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. We made it. That's what you get, man. You shouldn't have chased him. Ooh. What do we have here? Come on, please give me a gun or something. Okay. Moving along. Is this outside? Okay. We gotta run around here. No, wait, 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 wait. This is where he was. Okay. Let's cut right. We're gonna get this son of a bitch. He's ours. Doesn't seem too stable. I don't care. <laughs> oh fuck. He's gonna kick you in the face again, man. Get up there. I think she has something to do with it, man. She obviously has something to do with this, man. Fuck, that was close. Everything wants to kill me in here. Cause I mean, how the hell else would they have known? How would they have known? That we were there. If somebody hadn't snitched me out. And it's her. I know it is. That's why she was in a bad mood. And she's pregnant with my kid. She might even not be pregnant. Because how long is she? Like three months? She would have been showing like a little bit. She would have had a bump. Where in the hell are we? We might be at the end. And this is going to lead all the way to town. We are next to what looks like a river. Okay. Pull this ladder out. Ladder's chained. Move that. Get in here. There we go. Cut that bitch. Ah. Okay, got the ladder. I'm gonna keep moving. Yes. I will take that machete. Maybe the blade is still sharp. Okay. We got a machete. Aha! Cut that shit down. My question is, how the hell did this dude get through all this? I could go through here. No shit. Another signal. Uh-oh. Localizer time. Oh, here it is, right here. Tower. There we go. Anomaly detected. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. There it is. Mm. Gotcha. There's the other one. <laughs> Alright. Let's look at this shit. Turn left. I'm close. I can feel it. Okay. So we're hot on this trail. We got another one. Okay, getting close. He's gonna jump out and grab us, man. I already know he is. This has been a, probably like one of the craziest chases I've ever done in the game. It's definitely like long. Okay, here's the other anomaly. Looks like a cave entrance. There we go. He slipped through here. I'm sucking my gut. Suck in my gut. Yeah, we're about to get clocked right here. You wait and see. Here it comes. I'm expecting it. I hate that you can't look when you're going sideways. Come on. There we go. Oh. Doesn't seem too stable, but maybe I can get to the other side. Okay, we're picking up another one. <gasps> oh. Fuck, I'm not as fit as I used to be. Shut up, man. Okay, 
We got a bridge. I'm gonna have to try to jump. That totally didn't work. Oh, we got a cave under here. Okay. Man, this dude went through all this trouble just to spy on me, dude. Oh, shit. She <clears throat> okay. Climbing up the mountain. My own footsteps fuck me up. Okay, we're right on something. There it is. Holy shit. Scan it. Looks like he hit something in the feeder. What you got in there? It's gonna bite me. The inn. Thanks for the tip, dickhead. Okay. Maybe that was a setup for us. <clears throat> Let me bend these boards because I'm fucking Superman. <clears throat> Alright, to the end we go. Okay, shore. And hillside in. Yeah, okay, so I remember this. From when we were way back in the 1800s. What do we have here? Ooh. An old tent, some abandoned stuff. Looks like someone just left it all and never came back. But why? Yeah, that's not good. That's military shit. Okay, moving up. We are almost there. I obviously I think uh, all this stuff has to has like a connection between the two stories. I mean, obviously. But what? Like, usually games, I can figure them out. I can't quite figure this one out yet. It definitely isn't as jump scary as I thought it was going to be. Because the demo was horrifying. And now we're on that a manhunt. Looks deep. If I had something that would enable me to climb down it, maybe it'd lead to the inn. I could try to go down this way, but first I need a stronger rope. Mine is definitely too flimsy. I saw Perhaps a tent on my way here. here. Yeah, no maybe shit. I can find something inside. Maybe. Maybe you can find something inside that tent that you just walked past, sir. You should go back to that tent and look inside because there's definitely going to be a rope in there. Okay, coming up on the tent. There's a backpack hanging in that tree. I'll try to shake it down with something. Yeah, uh, uh if you look up a little bit more, sir, you'll see something else as well. Maybe a hiker? <laughs> I don't know, but he's fucked. Okay, so we're looking for... I'm assuming a rope of some sort. Okay, so it won't let me look in the tent, so... Maybe whatever I need is in that backpack? Let's see if we can get up there in that cave. Well, I could go through here. Okay, here we go. How long has this poor guy been hanging here? Strange that no one came looking for him. Yeah, it's Must pretty have strange. Off that poor guy. The backpack is hanging loosely. I think I could knock it off with a stone. A stone? Wow, convenient stones here. Oh, come on, man. That hit dead on. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh... We're prob oh, shit! Wow, I can't believe we made that jump. And what do you know? We've got climbing ropes. This will certainly come in handy. I had no idea that this game was going to venture outside the house. <laughs> We're a long ways from home. I'm telling you, man, I know, I know that bitch is in on it. You're not going to be able to tell me any different. Okay, we are back. Let's see, let's get down this rope. I don't like this. This is where it all starts. You're going a bit slow, sir. You're going to want to slide. <laughs> And if that dude is down here, that makes no fucking sense. It's like, how the hell did he get down here? Ow. All right. The Cave of Mystics. Okay. Okay, if it is, let's just keep pushing forward. I'm moving as fast as I can. I know that I'm going to have to drag this out, so I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to drag. Where is this taking me, dude? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, ladder. Pfft! Drag that bitch down. Go. Ready? Jump. Yes. We this made it. Like ruins of some big building. What could have happened here? Gee, I wonder. It's the inn, bro. He doesn't know we're here. Let's see if we can get in, and I'm gonna sneak up on that son of a bitch and stuff my thumb right in his backside. 
See if there's another way in. I'll take this rope with this hook on it. And I'll just javelin style throw it at his back. Here we go, here we go. We're in. Let's see what he does. What the fuck? Where did he go? Man, dude, he's a poltergeist. <laughs> okay, come on. We're there, man. Let's catch him. Charred ruins. The Soviets want all this country to look like that. Charred ruins. That, I mean, it looks beautiful to me. But whatever. What's this? Ah, it's probably the lantern that we used in the past. Damn, I'm not really scared of heights, but... I better be careful. Do that to me. Wonder why what's up with all the paint? Who is he? What did he hide here? I need to turn that safe around somehow if I want to reach it. I can't move it with my bare hands. Okay. So what the fuck are we supposed to do? Aha! Look what I found. I found a pipe. Alright, now we should be able to move it. We're gonna have to pry it from the floor. And there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, move it this way. Shit. This thing's heavy. You do st oh shit, move! On me, no one would ever find me here. <laughs> That's what you're what worried this about? Place, anyway? What's in this damn safe? How do I open it? Maybe I can find something in this room. God, come on. Maybe I can find something in this room. Yep, there it is right there. It's a page from the Bible. Rotate to reveal hidden message. Let's read it. That old witch. Have the locals fallen into superstition? I can only hope they didn't burn her at the stake. So maybe one, two, two, three. All right, let's let's try that. One, two, two, three. No, is that not it? Oh, here we go. Got some boards. Okay, here we go. Got to be something in here. It looks like someone noted the combination to the lock here. Which numbers do I need, though? Remember, the answer is not present. Gee, that <laughs> that helps out a lot. Oh. Okay, so we need to find out what number's not present. And it looks like it is the number five. Okay, so that's the second number. Looks like seven on this one. The last number is six. No six on that page. And then the second to the last number is one. There's no one on that page. Seven five one six. Okay. Got it. Get that shit out of here. All right. Seven five one six. There. Finally. Let's open it up. And here we go. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for it. So basically we're uncovering the story. That's what we're doing, alright? We're on chapter 6. We're finding these notes, and it's uncovering a story. So this dude that is we're chasing is apparently a fucking poltergeist. It looks like this is going to be a two- or three-part series. I think there are 12 chapters? I can't remember. But, uh, yeah... I think that about does it for this episode. We will pick up and finish this game in the next episode. I love you guys, and I'll see you there. Step right up to the Mad Army, House of Pain. Don't be afraid, you pussy. Step right up and get your fucking dick sucked. Come on, come on. Introducing the biggest piece of shit you'll ever meet in your entire life. He'll make you laugh. He'll make you gas. He'll make you shit. He'll make you stink like a fucking pig that just got a blowjob from a scorpion. Introducing the man, the myth, the legend, Mad Vlad. <laughs>